Bonjour, je suis avec John Stephenson, euh, qui est un chercheur danois qui étudie le requin du Groenland. On a passé euh, trois jours avec lui euh, ici, avec euh, leur bateau sur lequel ils, ils font leurs recherches. Je vais lui poser quelques questions. So, hi John. Hello. Who is the Greenland shark? The Greenland shark is a strange creature that's living up here, around Greenland and also in the North Atlantic, around Norway and around the Canadian coast. Uh, but it's, it's a strange creature that we know very little about. They can be very big, up to like six, seven meters, and weigh like 1.5 tons. And they live anywhere in the water column from the surface and down to like two kilometers. We don't know anything about how old they are, but that's one of the projects we're working on now. And we have a feeling that they may be very old, maybe 200 years. We often see something on its eyes. What is it? All the sharks often have one parasite on each eye and it kind of makes the cornea opaque so we, we expect them not to see very well. So we don't think they find their prey by vision but they probably find the prey by smelling. You see two big holes on either side. That's where the water is running into the nose of the shark where they have a huge smell organ. How do you proceed to study these sharks who are living very deep? What we've been doing on this cruise is that we use some satellite pop-up tags. We can program them to sample information every 15 minutes, for instance. And that's information about what is the water temperature, how deep are they, sunrise and sunset, as a mean of trying to get the position, because the GPS do not work underwater. So we program the tag to one specific day, release from the shark, it floats to the surface and there's a little antenna and then it starts sending data to a satellite and we can be sitting home in our warm office seeing all the data arriving, what the tech had been doing. Is the Greenland shark in, in danger? The Greenland shark is what we call nearly threatened, but nearly threatened does not mean that it's threatened. It more or less means that we know nothing about it. So we better call it nearly threatened. And that's what we're trying to get lots of information about the Greenland shark. How many are there? What is the distribution area? How fast can they swim? What are they eating? How deep are they going? And so forth. That's what we are interested in. Wow. So there is a lot, a lot of work to, to do still now. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much. And have a continued good journey. <laughs>